What's up, man? Have a seat right over here. Where's Larry? All right, man. Come up here. Uh, you can steal Larry's seat. Have a seat. How do you feel, man? What's your name? Adam. You're going to talk right into here. Adam? Adam. Adam, what school are you from? What school? What school? What Tiger Shulman school? Um, Who's your Bay sensei? Ridge. Bay Ridge. Oh, so I know your sensei. sensei. Sensei Levy. He's a beast, and you grapple just like him, man. Awesome job. How do you feel? Good. You feel good? Take your mouthpiece out, man. Come on. The people want to hear you. You feel good? Yeah. You get, you're going to be uh, competing in kickboxing, too, later? Yeah, MMA. MMA, right? MMA. So what's your game plan? You're going to be looking to strike? You're going to look to take him down? What are you, you going to be trying to do? I'm not for sure. I'm not going to let them get my head because... Just take me down. Yeah, so you're gonna be trying to take them now, or you're gonna try to like keep it on the feet, try to look for some some knees, some punches and kicks. What are you gonna do? I'm doing? just gonna go for the punches and just trying to grab their head. Okay, so you're gonna try to take them down, try to work your ground game on them. All right, man. Good luck. Try to get those double. You wanna try to be a double champ? Get two belts. All right. Good luck. All right, bro. Have a good one. All right. <laughs> good go, guys. No problem. I'm wondering if our booth can hear us. <laughs> can anybody from our booth hear what we're saying? Oh, she does. Okay, good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Shout out to Maddie. Maddie and Chris, who will both be participating in our 90 day challenge coming up starting in January. They're both going to crush it. Nice. Crush yes. it. Yes. You're going to be coaching them. Right. Sensei's <laughs> going to be busy running the school. You're going to be busy torturing. I mean, I'm sorry, coaching them. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, son, come around. This kid's tall. Yeah. You better have the common courtesy to hunch over. <laughs> Alright, son, just move up so you talk into the microphone. What's up, man? What's your name? Valera. Oh, Where are you from? What school? Up. Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge, I man. I really want to know why you were laying on the mat over there after you won. <laughs> huh? I've been in, I've been for this organization for almost 10 years now. Why are you laying on the mat? I've, I've never <laughs> won. <laughs> I love you. Congratulations. I've never won first place, and this is the first time. I am tasting victory in the COC. I've come close so many times that I've never reached it. Hey, now man. I've finally reached it. It's the happiest moment of my life. Oh uh, my that's God. why I laid down on the floor because I was in shock and disbelief that I finally got to this place after almost after almost a decade of being in this organization. And look at that. This man. organization changed my life. I was, you know, bullied, bothered in school. I wouldn't stop moving. I had no discipline. I came to this organization. I got dis I got disciplined. Or however you say it. Oh, yeah, that's how you say it, yeah. <laughs> and I stuck around. I sucked for the first couple of years. And then something switched a couple of years ago. And I'm in the best form of my life. 10 pounds cutting down to make this weight. Wow. And How old are you, son? 15. Awesome job, And man. I've that's never been story. happier in my life. Who's that's your instructor? Awesome. Sensei Levy. Sensei Levy. Of course. Of course. He's been killing it today. You guys, your whole team, you guys trained hard for this, I can tell. Yeah. yeah. And what you just said is exactly what we want from our organization and from our tournament. We want to give those kids who don't feel like they have it confidence, and when it comes out, it comes out like this. Yeah, Gushing. Man, you, you sound like yeah. you had a, that, that speech prepared, man. You were ready to win today, weren't you? Yeah. Long time coming. You earned it, man. Are you also competing in the um, the MMA division? Yes, and I will be excited to fight on this mat in MMA. That's so awesome. Listen, I want you to go rest. I want you to compose yourself. Come back and become champ champ, bro. Close. <laughs> awesome job, job, man. Congrats. Best of Happy luck, now. all right? Thank you. What an impressive young man. Yeah, man, that was a cool story. That was nice. Nice to hear stuff like that. Got me honestly. a little emotional. Yeah. Got me a little emotional. <laughs> but that's what we do, man. You, yeah, man, you yeah. find these kids who are all good kids, who have that potential, have that talent inside of them. They just need a little bit of help bringing it out. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what we do. Changing lives, man. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We are now going to go live to our team out on the mats. Uh, four, four and a half years. Wow, that's a long time. Okay, what made you join? I wanted to lose weight. Yeah. I was about close to 190. So I was like, no, no more. I gotta lose, I, I can't gain a belly, I'm not into it. So I started training, trained hard, hard, and I actually got, um, by within the first six months, I lost 15, 20 pounds, so. Awesome, how'd it feel to win that? <laughs> Like that, like there's no explaining to it. I just, like when I won, I actually had to scream it out because I was, you know, ah! you know, that's just, it, you know, yeah. So awesome. it was, it was great. Well, congrats, and are you competing in anything else? Kickboxing later. All right. Well, good luck, and I hope you win.
Oost. Someone else or Ricky? Still live, Jackson. Okay. Okay, and what school do you train at? Paramus. With Mike Trezano and Sensei Rappaport. Of course. And who are you? Jack Holler, <laughs> Tottenville with Sensei Pace. Okay, cool. So uh, have you guys competed in COC any time before? When I was like 13, so a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, I do it every time. Every time. Okay, what makes you sign up? To get better. Oh, nice answer. It's a good measuring stick see how I'm doing, measure my progress, you know. What does it mean to you? Well, when you put your training to the test, it means it shows how much progress you made. So, you know, the better you do each time, the better you're getting. Awesome. What does it mean to me? Yeah. It means a lot. Yeah. You know, you want to you wanna come in, you want to win. Um, if you don't, it's okay. I've won, I've lost. Winning feels better than losing. But um, at the end of the day, you know, for someone my age, just to get out there and do it, there's not too many people doing it, so it makes you feel good about it. Good. What made you start competing? Um, since they pushed me. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad he did. You know, he came up to me and said, you know, I want you to do the tournament. And I said, okay, and, you know, I have a little bit of a competitive nature, so I just did it. Perfect. And you, once, you can't not do it again. Exactly. Right. It's addicting. That's what I keep saying. It's okay. I don't mind doing it. I don't have to be pushed to do it anymore. I look forward to it. Okay. And why'd you start? Um, I started with my family, so my mom started doing it first, and then she kind of got me to do it, and then my whole family started doing it, so it was, it was nice. It's a family affair. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Um, you guys are competing later, or you competed already? Oh, waiting to compete. All right, yeah. good luck. Thank you. And congrats. Oh, yeah. Congrats on competing. So how did you feel with the second match? You feel, feel good? Don't yeah. just say good. I felt happy. Happy? Okay. <laughs> Um, now, I know you have a big support system here, which is great. You got your big sister right there, your mom, your dad, everybody from the school. As your instructor, I'm getting a little bit um, a little emotional. I'm super proud of you. You did a great job. I'm glad that you had that disappointment in your first round, and then you came back strong in your second fight. Super proud of you. Awesome job. All right, get out of here. Good get luck lost. in the future, right? Thank Good work. Get away. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't talk to you. Don't talk. Don't knock over the chair. Don't knock over the chair. Oh, it's hooked on your <laughs> Uh, Shane, guess what? We have another guest. Who, 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 who? We have Master Takashima. Do you want to do that? That's fine. That's fine. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Okay. All right. Well, Shion, this is going to be Shion, you actually came here for a great fight. Yeah, we got to watch this match. It's going to be crazy. Please, Jason, please, 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 please. We got from Moorish Plains, James Johnson, and then... This is Ethan again? Yes, this is the same. They, they had already um, they fought competed in, in jiu-jitsu, and I believe that James won. Yeah, James right? won, yep. Shane, when you talk, you just have to be close to the microphone. This is going to be a great matchup. Are you enjoying the tournament I'm not so a real Shion? good commentator, so not I'm not so going to talk too much. We'll talk, talk and you watch and enjoy. <laughs> I'm just looking at our next generation. There we right go. Here. Both of these kids are phenomenal. James is a sick, sick grappler. And one of the things that we've been pointing out, Ethan's oh my fast. gosh. One of the things we've been pointing out today, Shion, is how impressive the kids are when they're on the mat. Oh, and they're wow. even more impressive when they come over here and talk to us. Yep. They're all so humble. They, the, most of the time, the first thing they say is about their opponent. Just a bunch of really good kids, especially these two. If you, uh, I'm sure you've had interactions with them. They are the s nicest two kids you'll ever meet in your life. Well, that's what we want, right? We don't want to turn out bullies. We want to turn out <laughs> Yeah, they're humble. Super, super humble. Humble, yep. cool kids. Oh, does he have the neck? No. 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 I'm sorry. Oh, they were off of the mat. Yeah. How old are these kids? This is 13 to 15, I think. Yeah, yeah, 12 to 15 yep. or 13 to 15, yeah. I believe. I don't know their exact age, but but that you're right, Shion. This is the next generation. You'll be coaching yeah. these guys in the UFC soon, Shion. <laughs> now you guys will. <laughs> <laughs> Good low kick. Shane, I don't know if you had a chance to watch the post-fight interview of your nice. last fight, but the look on Shion's face while he was talking to you was priceless. I saw the, the, the corner cam of yeah. when I got the arm bar, yeah. <laughs> and him and, and she, I went, oh, oh. Me jumping up like yeah. a bull. <laughs> and then Ray, Ray, you go, what? That's awesome. Well, you, you had us nervous. And I then, know. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, I get it. You go from thinking, oh, no, <laughs> to exactly. we won. Yeah. <laughs> now, our, our boxing coach, Ray, would yell at these two young men. They keep touching gloves. Yes. 
our boxing coach, Ray Velez, does not like that. <laughs> he touched gloves after he said well, it. Well, he, he doesn't yeah. like it when we're, uh, when we're outside. But yeah. when you're fighting your own, you know, your, your brother's own school, yeah. uh, then, then it's cool. He, he makes us do push-ups for that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Coach Ray. He's trying to train you when you get to the UFC. Exactly. Right? Yep. Oh, oh, uh, nice uh, catch, oh, oh, nice takedown. Nice kick before that, though. Yeah, it right? was. It was a nice Does kick. he have the... Oh, oh, oh. By the neck, nice. Almost nice. had it. Nice scramble. Nice Good knees. knees. Knocked down Sheon Shulman on the side. <laughs> a one minute left. We got win in this right now. Sheon, ah. what is happening right now is exactly what we wanted. You see the crowd gathered around our ring? Oh, nice knees. I'm, I'm leaning towards yeah. the brown belt. Oh, it's a, it's a good, awesome but, match. But James does nice. have the takedown. Nice takedown. James is winning the takedown battle. Yep. Yeah, he can't be hitting from bottom. He's got to get up. 30 seconds, he's got to get so up. So his main focus no should be No leverage right up. there. Yeah. He's just trying to get, you know, just trying to make it look like, make it look like he's getting something. He's got to work through shrimp, get your guard yep. back. This, this might be the it's inexperience of the brown belt in the expert yeah, division yeah. for the first time. Oh, uh, went for the mount, but nope. Seen three quarters mount now. That was the time. Time. There we go. Awesome Great match. match. Great, Great match. match from these young men. We'll see who gets it. I wouldn't be surprised if that went to overtime. an extension. Yep. I could see an extension here. I wouldn't have any problem with that. Let's see. <laughs> Look at Sensei Pace. Oh, we got a tie. You were right, sir. Yep. Going to an extension. This Here is exciting. <laughs> well, these kids are like, damn, retired. Xi'an, where else but the Challenge of Champions can you have such expert judges and, and, and referees? And commentators. Commenta <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Nowhere. Especially the commentators. Yeah, there we go. Because you guys are sitting closer to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Oh, nice, oh, nice man. Oh, oh, nice takedown. Oh. That might have just won him the that fight. That could be it if that James might, doesn't yep, get up. Yep. He's, he he's scrambled. He does a good job. Oh. Scramble, nice reverse. Oh. Very good. Very impressive. Hammer fisting. Oh. Very impressive. Nice job getting back up. And look at Sensei Pace controlling them so they don't go into the crowd. But letting him continue, too. Brilliant. Brilliant refereeing by Sensei Pace. Oh, it's going. Getting excited. Yep. That's why I brought him over. <laughs> oh, oh, another one. I think that's it. Awesome. I think that's no, it. he's not giving up, though. He's not. He's, not, he's got not putting spirit. This kid's not going to give up. Not much time he's left. Get that second hook in. He's riding high, though. Huh? Yep. The bell's going to ring. Any oh, second now. Is he going to take it? Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Nice. Chase is out oh, again. Oh, he's got Oh, I have to. I have to. Time. I don't know. It's so close. Let's do seven more extension rounds. Great fight. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. That, was, that was a good overtime round Gian, right there. Now. could you the watch these two train for hours? I could watch oh, these yeah. two boys compete against each other oh, every yeah. day, twice on Sunday, which we didn't because they already competed twice against each other today. Yep. All good. going to the judge's call. Give me another one. Give me another, another tie. Green. Winner coming out of the green corner is Ethan. Very impressive awesome. win for this young man. Oh, and you can see the emotion on his face. Look at him. Look at him. He's exhausted, too. <laughs> He's a little bit emotional. That, they, was, he, that was the first and second? Yeah, that first was. That was the final one. match. Young. Nice. They, they grappled for first and second, too, and, yep. and James won. So now Ethan got a little revenge there. Oh, that's nice. Yep. One each. Yep. Huh? That was awesome. These two men are very impressive. We're going to interview uh, Ethan now, right? Yep. Shion, could you talk a little bit to how important competing as a, as a youngster is? I think it's everything. Look, these are the kids that are going to make it to the UFC. UFC fighters are getting better and better, right? And, um, you know, every year we've seen better and better fighters because they're starting younger and younger. So these kids are going to have the ability to be able to be at that level. If they didn't start when they were younger, it's going to be a lot tougher to get to the highest levels, right? If you look at boxing, a lot of the kids, yeah. you know, a lot of the guys they've started when they were little kids, mm -hmm. and they wanted juniors and, and, and all that before they got to the highest level of boxing, right? Same thing here. These kids have the ability. Not that they want it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
they're going to make that decision later on if they want to become professional fighters, but they would have the ability to. Mm -hmm. After watching them here today, we can see that they're on their way, well on their way. And, and, and the work, like you said, maybe they don't want to be professional fighters. Maybe the experience and the discipline that they've learned is going to help them be a better lawyer or a better doctor. Absolutely. Look, this kind of competition, life is a competition. So, you know, when you can compete at this level, and you know you're just pushing through things like that look that's what life brings all different kinds of things to you right whether you like you're saying become a lawyer become a doctor whatever you want to be you know you're going to have to work through it and, and get there and have the discipline to do it right so this helps everything in life i believe and look at one this look on, at especially the one-on-one -on -one right competition now. comparison to team competition baseball art. big yes. difference yes. right yes. a team you could blame somebody else here it's just you and the other person Nobody Shion, else. I'm sorry, Shion. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna I, let this, we have I'm to kick you out. Champion. I'm gonna let this we gotta get your earphones. <laughs> Good. Right, Thank you, Shion. Joined here. Thank you, Shion. Right. Ethan, come sit. By the MMA. Seat, champ. J you come with us too, James. You come with us too. Just scoot over a little bit so James can share that chair with you. We're gonna show everybody your belt. Uh. Now, Ethan, we're gonna talk mostly about you, but. All right, so we got Tiger Shulman's gonna do an official interview. You guys gotta make sure you catch that. that would be in about. 15, 20 minutes, so if you guys got to go to the bathroom or something, go do it now. If you got to go do something, go do it now. Got the next two guys on deck ready to go. Stretch them out a little bit. At Tiger Showman's, we're all one. It's just like one big family, and when you walk in, you know everyone at the school. Tiger Showman's has taught me that I like have confidence and just to like be me. My whole family trains, and it's just like everything to my family. I'm Shane Burgos from the Bronx, New York, and I'm Tiger Shulman's born and bred.